Hello people, this is Ambi. Today we will talk about how to install Terraform on Windows 10. A pretty simple process, but before I start uh, playing around with it with you guys, I thought, you know, let's go ahead and go through that. Uh, in Linux, it's pretty similar. Uh, all you have to do is just download it. Okay, download Terraform Windows, right? So let's go ahead and do that first. And okay, so let's go to download. What do we want? We want Windows 64 bit. It's going to take us here. Okay, it's downloading it. Okay, the downloading is over. Show in folders. Right. Extract all. We're going to extract this here. Now, what is Terraform? Terraform is uh, kind of a provisioning uh, configuration management tool. You can say infrastructure as a code. Uh, I don't think there is any other tool which is doing infrastructure as a code as good as this one, right? Hmm. Why is it not allowing me to rename it? Okay. I understand. No problem. Now, you can't do because the folder is in open another can. Okay, who has opened it? Okay, close it. All right, you know, Windows just keeps complaining because it doesn't have anything to do or anything else to complain. Right? Is it going to say the same thing? Okay. It's a virtual machine. I have seen that the virtual machines works better in um, if you use VMware Workstation or VMware Virtualization. However, they work really, uh, they're not good for recording VMware Workstation. It's very unfriendly um, with VMware. Uh, with VirtualBox, uh, you can do recording and all that, but you know, you will have this performance problem. Okay, Terraform. Let's go to downloads. Let's go here. Copy this. Okay. And paste it here. That's it. So you have Terraform now. But what we want to do is if we run Terraform.exe from here, we don't want to like specify the path every time. So we want to go ahead and add this as our path, right? So let's go to edit system edit the environment variables or system environment variables let's open it okay it's still stuck wow i mean i want to i really want to switch to linux and show you guys how to do it on linux but the problem is most of the users still are especially those who are getting into development are into devops they are still using windows colleges still uh, want you to use windows your uh, whether you are art student or even some like you know uh, many engineering colleges uh, they still offer you windows so yeah don't blame me for that okay so okay it did not come edit environment variables for your account no this this is what i want also go ahead and do this probably you'll have this problem uac wow great so this is how windows 10 it is right as you can see uac nothing Wow, my God, Windows, wow, finally open, okay. So USC, so it's already down. Now let's go to performance, system protection, user profile, startup and recovery environment variables. And let's go to path here. So do we want to add a new one? Okay, that is what we are going to do here. 
just going to copy paste that, right? So when we run terraform.exe, it will look there and it should run the terraform. We will open this and we are going to open PowerShell. I think they want to take 10 hours. I hope not. Okay. So Terraform. Whoa. That is so, so slow. It looks like a Matrix movie, right? I mean, I mean, really look at it. Wow. Okay. And the PowerShell.exe is not loaded yet. So as you can see, Windows 10 with 16 GB of virtual RAM given to it on VirtualBox is giving you some matrix kind of performance here. So this is how you go ahead and install Terraform. Pretty straightforward and easy. Hopefully next time when I want to do some more adventures with Terraform, it will be better. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great one. Bye.